what's up you guys? No fandom talk today. I want to address a uh, situation that I noticed bobbing around in the entertainment news circles recently and it, it involves the LGBT community so I figured hey I'm an L of the LGBT might as well throw my coin in maybe no people say they didn't ask for it but so I'm throwing it in there anyway. For anyone who doesn't live in Britain or doesn't follow British television, around about this time is the time of the Great British Bake Off. It has been going on for a few weeks now. I haven't been watching it as it's been going on live because I've been catching up. I'm currently watching the season from last year, not the one that's currently going on. But each week there's a new thing that the bakers are made to do, like pastry week cake week, patisserie week, chocolate week, spice week, stuff like that. And last week, I think it was, was bread week. And one of the judges, Paul Hollywood, like his niche, his niche is bread. He bakes bread. He, that's his thing. He's a very bready man. And they are given, I think it was a technical, that this was a technical challenge is when they're like, they're given a very bare bones recipe and they have to try and use their own initiative and bake what is given properly and then the judges um try each thing that they've made like without knowing who it is that made it so it's like a complete blind judging and there's no favoritism or anything like that um on bread week they had to make this like rainbow colored bread i don't know if there's an official name for it as i say i didn't I haven't really looked too deep into it because I don't want any spoilers of who went out, etc. But um, they usually talk about what the technical bake is. The two judges, they have like a wee conversation like, Oh, why did you choose this for the technical bake? And, oh, this is why. And Paul Hollywood said that the rainbow colours in the bread represents the NHS. Or he said he thinks it represents the NHS or he thinks it's very fitting because people have been using rainbows for the NHS this year. This has somehow garnered controversy. The Great British Bake Off has received, when I last looked, it received 70 Ofcom complaints. Some of them about a, some joke they made earlier in the episode. But a lot of them being about Paul Hollywood saying that the rainbow bread <laughs> represents the NHS. Because rainbows are for the gays. <laughs> we have ultimate hold on rainbows, okay? Like, they belong to us and you can't say that it represents anything else. I don't know if there's such thing as having copyright on a rainbow. Some, some charity or something might have copyright on a rainbow and it may very well be an LGBT charity. To me, it's like trying to claim ownership of the sun. You can't say, oh, the sun belongs to me. You can't say that it represents anything else because it's the sun. Rainbow colours that are used in, in Pride, in the NHS celebrations that have been happening this year, in anything that any kid ever colours in, is based on... The rainbow that would appear in the sky when the sun shines through droplets of rain in the air. Which basically is a natural phenomenon. It's weather. It happens. It, it could be God if you're religious. It could be science if you're not religious. It's just, it could be Mother Nature if you believe in her. That is what a rainbow is. It doesn't belong to the NHS, doesn't belong to the gays, but apparently people have decided to get annoyed because Paul Hollywood said that this rainbow coloured bread represented the NHS instead of saying that it represented LGBT people. I find this very telling of performative activism, people getting annoyed about things so that they can feel better for themselves, so that they can say I put in a complaint about Paul Hollywood saying about that bread. I support LGBT issues and I am an ally. Whereas really putting in a complaint about coloured bread... 
does fuck all. <laughs> like, it means nothing in the grand scheme of things. Does it make you a better ally? Doesn't make you, well, it might make you feel better about yourself, but. And honestly, I would believe that most of the people who put in the complaints aren't gay because that's how it usually goes. Most of the people who are gurning and complaining aren't part of the group that is allegedly being affected by whatever it is that's being complained about. It's people trying to make themselves feel better and feel like, yes, I am supporting them <laughs> by complaining about this insignificant comment about the NHS. And for a big program like the Great British Bake Off, 70 complaints doesn't sound like a lot, but it actually is. It is, compared to, the, to an ordinary week when there's little to no complaints, 70 Ofcom complaints is actually quite significant for a program, especially one as popular as the Great British Bake Off. And the fact that it happened over coloured bread just baffles me. Like, I am... <laughs> I'm not in awe of it because this is this kind of shit happens all the time and it's just outrage culture it's people getting up in arms over an issue that shouldn't be an issue <laughs> I would like to think that the people who <laughs> who have complained about Paul Hollywood and the bread fiasco I'd like to think that they've donated to an LGBT charity at least once or they've attended a pride parade or they've offered advice or comfort to an LGBT friend or person they know or has just, you know, done things that actually help, <laughs> that actually contribute towards the well-being and the, continue, the continued acceptance of LGBT people. But I don't think they are. They're not, they're not... <laughs> That's what performative activism is. They don't do anything that actually could help. They do something that is for the performance to make themselves look like they're doing something that actually matters when it really doesn't. <laughs> it does nothing. You could donate to a charity that helps homeless LGBT youth. You could donate to your local LGBT centre. You could donate to an LGBT helpline, anything other than complaining about Paul Hollywood, <laughs> the bread man on the Great British Bake Off, saying that the rainbow bread is significant for the NHS. And a lot of people say, oh yes, but the rainbow has so much significance to LGBT people. It does, yeah, it is our symbol, it is the colours that we use, but we don't own the colours, <laughs> we, we, we don't. Maybe there, there, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there is some way to copyright that kind of thing. But I feel like if we, if it was copyrighted that way, then people wouldn't have been able to use it as the symbol to support the NHS, like we have been doing. So don't be a touch charity. Look up local LGBT charities in my area. There's a couple in Belfast that I that I would like to donate to sometime soon when I have the money. I uh, just look in your local area. If there's any LGBT support, anything like that, if you were one of the people who <laughs> who was offended, deeply offended by this bread issue, then you can you know what you can do? You can volunteer, you can donate, you can offer support again to an LGBT friend. Just do something that is actually going to help. <laughs> because coloured bread is nothing <laughs> like it's it's in the digestive system probably long gone by now because it was a week ago it really it, it it's nothing especially in comparison to the wider range of issues that lgbt people still do deal with to this day somehow i'm not bothered by bread being rainbow colored and being compared to the nhs in comparison to all that even not in comparison to all that, is so it is such a not issue that I just really hope that it just blows over. I think it will, hopefully, unless they make an issue out of it. I swear if they get rid of Paul Hollywood because of that stupid NHS joke, I'm gonna... It's not even a joke, but... No. Just don't. Because it makes us... LGBT people, even though I wholeheartedly believe not one LGBT person, maybe one or two, complained about this. It'll make us look like we get fucking riled up over nothing. 
and I'm getting riled up over this because there's so many important issues regarding LGBT people in this world and making it look like all we're focusing our attention on is coloured bread when it is actually being used to praise the NHS our very strained health care service that has been working really hard since coronavirus started it's not that's not one of them not one of the issues or it shouldn't be anyway anyway guys what do you think were you annoyed by paul hollywood's bread comment do you think it's a non-issue like me do you think it, it actually is an issue let me know down below like follow subscribe follow my socials down below buy my book have a read don't do any of that if you don't want to i don't want you there if you don't want to be there and remember it's colored bread okay like colored bread